As you can see behind me, we're running a special level of Little Big Planet that was created by the team at Media Molecule to help us illustrate a few points. How's it going, Alex? Good, thanks. So far, 2008 has been the kind of year that makes me proud to be in the gaming industry. The combination of innovative hardware, hot commodity software, and a growing consumer interest in HD has helped our industry generate more than $6.6 .6 billion of revenue in the first five months of this year alone. In fact, NPD has been estimating that the gaming industry revenue will soar as high as $23 billion in 2008. And the PlayStation brand is a key driver of this growth. With three powerful platforms, we have the industry equivalent of oceanfront property with a commanding control of retail shelf space. Once again, we're at the forefront of the expansion of our industry for another year. And for the year-to-date numbers through the month of June, we've sold more than 1.8 million PS3s here in the United States and more than 1.6 million PSPs. And something we've seen before on PlayStation platforms and only on PlayStation platforms, more than 1.5 million PS2s for a product in its ninth year on the market. In other words, we've sold in more than 5 billion units of hardware across the PlayStation family in the first six months of this calendar year. And again, that's just in the United States. That success has been spread out across the globe, not only in North America, but in Europe and Asia as well. And again, with more than 100 million PlayStations and 140 million PlayStation 2 units sold worldwide, as a global company, we're always working to expand our footprint. And today I'm pleased to announce that we're turning our attention south. Starting in 2008, we'll engage in distribution in the Latin America as well. We're well on our way to achieving our fiscal year goals outlined back in May of selling more than 9 million PS2s, 10 million PS3s, and 15 million PSPs. At retail, revenue generation is up as well. Since 1995, PlayStation has generated more than $50 billion at retail. To build on the momentum of our PlayStation 3 lineup, I'm also pleased to announce that we're going to be making some new games available on the platform as part of our greatest hits program on PlayStation 3. So starting later this year, our best PS3 games will be available at a $29.99 retail, including from our first-party studios, Resistance Fall of Man, Motorstorm, and Warhawk. And from Activision, Call of Duty 3. From Electronic Arts, Fight Night, and Need for Speed Carbon. From Ubisoft, Rainbow Six Vegas, and Assassin's Creed. And from Bethesda, Elder Scrolls. And lastly, from Tecmo, Ninja Gaiden. So Alex, this is uh, some incredible stuff, and you, uh, you helped me a lot, a lot. In many ways, the success of PS2 has allowed us to be more aggressive with our approach to PS3. It's been an important incubator for the next generation adoption. And today, we're seeing much more up conversion of PS2 owners embracing PS3. This has always been a platform for the biggest games and the most popular titles. And in 2008, we're introducing more than 130 titles to PlayStation 2. We continue to have incredible support from our developers, 